This is always one of those campers right here to me that I thought was a really standout dynamite product that always somehow slipped through the undercurrents of the industry. Um, it's, it's only 5,560 pounds, despite its size, a full super slide, a private bunkhouse with four separate bunks and still has a camp kitchen and a true queen bed up front. That is a hard combination of factors to find, folks. And before we get too far along here, when I find a defect or, or something, a point of concern, I like to get that out of the way right away. I found one little spot over here uh, by kind of in the bedroom area by the entry door. Just give you a frame of reference. It, it's nothing you can even see on camera. And it's hard to find with my foot. But if you tap around in here, there's one little, where is it? It's over here. It's small. It's super small. There's about a two inch spot where there, the floor is a little soft. I haven't really figured out where it came from, what might have caused it. I don't know if somebody did some hacksaw Jim Duggan foot stomps on that thing. I don't know if somebody left the, the door over uh, open over here and it rained inside a little bit. I don't see any water damage or anything like that. It's super minor. I don't think it's a big deal. I think you deserve to know about it. That's all I want to make sure you're aware of there. Now, one of the cool things, I mentioned this is a true quad bunk. You have sliding privacy doors for the master bedroom and the bunkhouse, but that is a trifold sleeper. That is a seven foot long true U dinette. So if you need to, you could sleep six easily in uh, uh, without uh, using the sofa and the dinette for sleeping. But if you do, you could easily bump that up to eight, potentially 10, depending on how big everybody is. This RV is light. It has right storage in the right places, which is what we're about to look at actually. And it can sleep every buddy. So I don't care if you just got a small family or if you got a big family or the kids bring friends or you have extended family and friends. I mean, it can sleep just about everybody. If we start down here, you see that it actually has a surprise rising amount of storage. Uh, the television, you might have noticed, actually pivots around to face toward the sofa if need be. One of the things I look at is it looks like they cooked on the stovetop, but that is just about it. The refrigerator, the oven, the microwave, those things are all kinds of spick and span. I'm not seeing like leftover burnt stuff in there. Now, right at what could be either the kitchen pantry, you see has a hanging rod in it. That could also be a, uh, a a closet potentially for the bunkhouse. Plus you see you've got that middle dresser space there. Now, again, I think a real key signature calling card feature of this floor plan are those four individual bunks, not like a couple double bunks where the kids are gonna kind of fight with one another. And you see how that one flips up right there. That can obviously fold down. That can become cargo space if need be. And then just a step backwards and we're over here in the bathroom. I've actually, I've always thought Keystone dressed up their bathrooms pretty nicely. They've always had some very good eye appeal in a room that a lot of manufacturers will just generally otherwise overlook and ignore. And that open shelf there, that little cutaway, makes that so much handier for bigger folks. Now, you've got a power vent fan there, and it's not a power vent fan, but it is a vent next to a powered light. So if you wanted to do some bigger vent fan upgrades, this would be a great model for that kind of stuff. Remember, we do have the uh, sliding privacy doors for the master bed. It is central air, central heat. And one of the other, I think, really clutch features on this floor plan is that is a 60 by 80 true queen bed. That is not a shorty camp queen. I think that's really important because it does come right up to the doors, but it's a true queen. So if you're taller like me, you're not going to be <laughs> kicking the dickens out of that thing. <laughs> And I think it was Cher uh, made a song. It went something like, what about travel mode? Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. But um, regardless, as you see here, you can walk around the countertop, around the sofa the way it's arranged. If you want to get into the bathroom, though, you bump the table a little bit. Now, if... You have the table like tucked away. Like if you slide it under the master mattress, you can gain a couple extra inches. And if I'm having a potty emergency, I could squeeze through there enough. I could make it work. But what's nice is if you do a sideways travel trailer, two-step butt scoop boogie, 
you can still get yourself back here into the bunk room. So it's actually, it's not the most convenient travel stop model you've ever seen, but as you just saw, it's also not impossible to get through here. So if you have a long trip, you need to stop overnight, you need to tell everyone, hey, go to your room, go to bed, you know, see you in the morning. You could make this one work, I think, if need be. And just starting, you know, broadside amidships, mateys. <laughs> I figured we'd actually start back here at the camp kitchen. Um, the, I think this, I mean, this RV on a rainy day, you got the super slide space, you have the private bunk sleeping space, which is nice. I think if you're stuck inside on a rainy day, you can make it, you can, you can, you can gut it out. But I see between that, I mean, just really effectively done low profile camp kitchen and the big power patio awning space, I see you spending a lot of time outdoors in this one. And it's these little wing out countertops that set this little camp kitchen over the top for me. But I'll give you a handy little pro tip from your Uncle Josh after years of doing this. When they're closed like this, people have a, they, they try to grab it with their fingers or they'll peel that T-molding out of there. Reach your hand underneath, find the back of the counter, and now it pushes open like a breeze. A lot of people don't realize you can just reach down there and take care of that. And that, that dad's medicine cabinet over here, keeping the, uh, the uh, you know, <laughs> bottled water and the barley pop chilled for you, it will cut down on so much dirty foot traffic uh, going through your camper. Wide stance stability axles right there. Those in conjunction with that 5,500 pound dry weight rating, it will make this an ex just a half ton towing dream kind of camper. Or if you got a bigger class SUV, like uh, an excursion or something like that, you'd yank this thing around all day long you know one of the only hiccups with this camper is that that weight rating is so low that there's going to be some people with shorter wheelbase vehicles like say a mid-sized truck like a tacoma uh that'll say oh that's within my tow rating no 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 this is i, I don't feel this is for you it's too long even with the wide stance axles even with the anti-sway hitching system it's too darn long for you now back here, you've got that uh, cargo little uh, bunk area where that bunk can flip up and get out of the way. Actually, why am I talking about it? We're on a video. Why don't I take a, oh, please tell me I undid the deadbolt. Oh, crap. So like I was saying, <laughs> cargo bunk door. Well, you got to see with the, uh, the deadbolt, if you're worried about somebody reaching in and grabbing your kids with the deadbolt that's obviously not a concern you can keep that thing locked right down and it's kind of nice it's got a little gas strut over there uh so that it doesn't require like a bullet latch or anything like that one of those little metal push pin style latches so it doesn't tend to fall down in transit um if you uh look up below the marker lights you can see she's not just back up ready remember you saw that monitor inside the rear view camera is installed and this has a 30,000 BTU furnace, and it is enclosed and forced air heated. These are fantastic extended season campers. If you appreciate the decent way that we go through and make sure that you have an educated perspective before you visit us here down at Advantage One, hit that like button on our video, subscribe. We'd love to have you along as additional uh, campers come available, whether you're looking or just looking for some entertainment. <laughs> And as always, if I can do something better for you, please let us know. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and have an A1 day, everyone.